Mobile antennas are those you generally see on autos, trucks, buses, and trains. They're typically mounted on mobile mounts that attach through the roof or the trunk of the vehicle. The most common type of mount is the NMO or TAD. They are an industry standard mount that is mounted through a three-quarter inch hole in the vehicle roof or trunk. The MB type version is available with all brass construction. The N type version is constructed using a combination of brass and steel. The brass and steel version is considered to be a bit heavier duty. This is due to the use of steel in the saddle portion of the mount. Our C-type mount provides the best of both worlds. It can be mounted through a 3 8 or 3 quarter inch diameter hole. The body of the mount is all brass. It has a stainless steel saddle that has sharp prongs that are designed to pierce the painted metal of the mounting area. This provides an excellent electrical installation. Most mobile antennas require a ground plane. The ground plane is created by using the flat metal surface of the roof or trunk of the vehicle. The ground plane takes the place of the lower half of a center-fed dipole. It does this by using a quarter wave area around the entire base of the antenna as a virtual element. Because it requires a quarter wave in all directions, it must be a minimum of a half wave length in diameter. As an example, a surface of 34 inches in diameter is required at VHF. One of the most popular series of quarter wave mobile antennas are base loads. They are called base loads because we increase the mechanical length of the antenna by adding a coil at the base of the antenna. They are used extensively in the HF and VHF bands where a quarter wave would be too long for practical mobile operation. The low band or HF base loads are available as a series fed and shunt fed. Low band base loads are available from 27 through 54 megahertz. We also provide base loaded antennas for both the VHF and UHF bands. Some of the VHF and UHF base loads are available with gain. In certain applications, we use a shock spring. The shock spring provides protection against low hanging tree limbs or low strung power lines. In some cases, the shock spring will actually increase the antenna bandwidth. Most of our permanent mount antennas come with spring loaded contacts. 